These are the bears we're making today. For each teddy bear, you'll need a paper pattern of your teddy bear, two rectangles of fabric that can contain your teddy bear pattern, a marker, a sewing machine or needle and thread, stuffed animal filling, and optionally ribbon or buttons for eyes or decoration. For creating a pattern piece, you can get creative. I iterated through a couple shapes before I got to my final teddy bear shape. I left about a quarter to half an inch extra around the perimeter of my shape for a seam allowance. Now I'm cutting two rectangles of fabric that will fit my pattern piece. My rectangles were about 12 inches by seven and a half inches. If you're new to sewing, there's usually a right side and a wrong side to your fabric. So the right side in this case is the fluffy side and the wrong side, which goes on the inside, is the smooth side. Put your two rectangles of fabric right sides together, so wrong sides facing out, and trace your teddy bear pattern. Remember to clearly mark on your pattern and fabric a gap to leave open once you start sewing. This will be the hole we use to turn the bear inside out. Pin the two rectangles together so the fabric is stable while you sew. I used safety pins. Sew along the edge, making sure you're leaving about a quarter inch extra for seam allowance. Remember to also leave a sizable gap along the edge so we can turn the bear inside out. In this close-up, you can see the foot of my sewing machine is landing on the marker edge, but the needle is actually about a quarter inch inside which is that seam allowance I'm talking about. When you're done sewing, you can unpin your temporary pins and cut the excess fabric around the bear. So here is the trimmed bear with the hole clearly visible on the side so that we can flip the bear inside out. Flip the bear inside out using the hole that you've left on the side. You can also use a chopstick or a marker to really poke out the arms if they're not coming through as prominently as you'd like them. Stuff the bear with your filling of choice. I ended up using polyester packing fiber fill and leftover fabric scraps from trimming the bear. I recommend cutting up your leftover fabric scraps before stuffing the bear because it's easier for smaller pieces to conform to your bear shell. When you're done stuffing, close the hole with an invisible stitch. I have a tutorial linked in the description if you don't know how to do an invisible stitch because I don't think it's demonstrated very well right here. Essentially, like these images show, you're trying to make a seamless closing for your bear. We don't want to be able to see the stitching from the outside. Here's my invisible stitch, but my hand unfortunately covers most of the operation. So if you really need the tutorial, please go watch it. For finishing touches, you can add clothes, ribbon, buttons for eyes. Here, I'm just tying a ribbon around its neck and I'm done.